Yeah, hi. All righty, ladies and gentlemen. Um, I've been wanting to do a video about the Vince McMahon allegations, even though I briefly talked about it on my SmackDown review, which is also the video to talk about Vince McMahon resigning from WWE TKO. But eventually, when I have the time, I will definitely do a full in-depth video about the allegations. But here's a little placement video to talk solely about Brock Lesnar, one of the, one of the person in this who is being affected by this, which is affecting basically WWE in general, because like it or not, Brock Lesnar is the person that who is a special attraction that people give a flying fuck about. Because no one fucking gives a shit about modern wrestling. No one cares about all these fucking boring jobbers in this fucking company. People care about an alpha male like Brock Lesnar. Okay, ladies and gentlemen? Oh, but he doesn't care about the business. only care about money. Just like any businessman, any person who's a worker, you dumb fucks. I'm sorry that a lot of you guys said, you know, I mean, I may look like I live in a basement, even though I, I, I don't have a basement. <laughs> Second of all, like seriously, this is a gimmick. Okay, this is, the, uh, uh, this is my essence with my holiness. But for God's sakes, for you dumb motherfuckers that believe that Brock Lesnar uh, with this shit, uh, like that you think he's evil, I don't know what to fucking tell you. So obviously because of this allegation, people think McMahon is evil and shit like that. Um, now this is unfortunately leading to cancellation of Brock Lesnar, even though we don't even know that this is involves Brock Lesnar. Sure, it sounds like it could be Lesnar, but we'll just talk about this. So basically, Brock Lesnar is getting canceled. Uh, he's suspected to basically uh, be a tra like uh, part of Miss McMahon's allegations in terms of get it. McMahon's trying to traffic a girl to Brock Lesnar and other wrestlers supposedly, but one of them was Brock Lesnar. Um, so here's what happened. So basically, okay. Do, 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 do. In July of 2021, the uh, see I'm a busy man. Who the fuck is calling? Hello? Ah, stupid scammer. Fuck you. They, they should be the ones that go into jail. Why the fuck you guys want to fucking put in jail Vince McMahon? Alright, in July 2021, the suit said Brock Le oh, the lawsuit said Mr. Mr. McMahon instructed Grant to have, create personalized sexual content for a WWE superstar that trying, they're trying to resign. The suit is then named the professional wrestler, but they claim he's both a UFC fighter and WWE talent, which could mean anybody. It could even mean like Cain Velasquez. Well, people thought it was Brock Lesnar because it does, it does stand out to be what it was. Um, people familiar with the matter identified the wrestler as Brock Lesnar, one of the biggest names. Lesnar didn't immediately respond Thursday to a request for comment. The suit said McMahon shared explicit photos with the star and informed Grant that he likes what he sees. After the star agreed to a new contract, McMahon texted Grant until August 2021 to say, "That's part of fucking. Uh, that's part of the deal. You're fucking. Uh, to what's fucking you?" That December, McMahon gave Grant personal cell phone, uh, the personal phone number to the WWE star. The lawsuit said, the wrestler asked her to send her a video himself herself. Urinating, the suit said, and after after she did it, he called her a bitch. The same month, the suit said the star expressed a desire to set a play date, but a snowstorm disrupted travel plans. Okay, so basically now they're saying that like they're big dead. McMahon's a trafficker, you know, he's a pimp, man. He's tra Even though, listen, obviously this sounds so fucking wrong. This obviously sounds fucking wrong. Okay, it does. It fucking does. Again, for all we know, this is not fucking true. You know, we don't know if this is 100% true or not. Again, this is an allegation. But, even if this was a thing, right? Why was she, again, a willing participant? Again, the reality is, this person, Miss Grant, consented to be in a relationship with this guy. Uh, with, with McMahon. Okay? So don't say that, you know, oh, like, she's all innocent. When in reality, she could have easily not want to be in a relationship and consented the idea of being with her, him. And again, you never know. You never know. Maybe she, like, you have to understand, a lot of women nowadays are promiscuous. They're promiscuous. Okay? They want to, they like having sex. And what I will say before I make my video about the whole full-edged details about the McMahon allegations and stuff like that, 
this sh this chick really comes out as promiscuous, okay? Where, again, she consented, and she was clearly okay until McMahon did not pay her, all right? You never know. She probably wanted to have, and maybe that's why, in a weird sense, she was okay having sex with, multi with if apparently true, having sex with McMahon and John Laurinaitis, which I think is fucking crazy, okay? You never know. You never fucking know, okay? Obviously, we'll see if what happens, but the fact that we're blaming Lesnar, which, again, it's not stated clearly that it's Lesnar, but we never know. Like, but the thing is, to, I say that freaking it's apparently Lesnar's fault when Le Lesnar did not even fucking text her up until he got the video. You never know. Maybe this would have been a loyalty test type of shit, or maybe fucking just to see if some sort of power from McMahon. Sure, it is like you know to see if fucking uh, she'll do whatever like McMahon does. And I'm saying that's fucking great, but does uh, or that's a good thing. It's not a good thing, but obviously it doesn't make it illegal. Okay. It doesn't make it illegal to fucking like, hey, tell your bitch, hey, yo, send s send a picture of your of of your cat to do my friend. Okay, obviously it's fucking weird to send a video of urinating. I don't support this. First of all, if you guys want to know, I don't support the idea of sending something urinating. I think that's fucking weird, a weird fetish to have, and I do think it's disgusting. So for you people that say I, you know, oh, I don't find any of this disgusting, this allegation, yes, it is disgusting. It's disgusting, but it really does feel like a lot of these things are fabricated. But to really say that mean that Lesnar is at fault, to say Lesnar is at fault to cost him his chance to be in WWE and not be and now ruin the plans of WrestleMania and shit like that, like that's fucking stupid. Okay, that's this, this is fucking out of line. And to cancel Lesnar for that, you know what I mean? They can't trip Lesnar for that because what? Lesnar said he likes what he sees. God forbid a guy fucking likes a fucking woman. I'm sorry that I lie, you fucking... I, I, it's funny how people say, You know what? Women can't get you. I'm not... I don't need to come on here to talk about my fucking sexual history and shit like that. But for God's sakes, a lot of y'all come off as hot shots on my comment section when y'all clearly can't get any fucking pussies and y'all are literally the biggest incels in the fucking planet with your fucking weird profile pics and whatever. Y'all fucking weirdos. So don't get angry that fucking McMahon can get pussy and all this shit and anybody in this in this allegation while you if, if if again if it's like consensual shit, but you can't because you're a fucking weirdo. Like I feel bad for like legit like me people who are involuntary celibate who because it is hard to get women now. I'm not gonna deny that. Okay, that's why I'm sympathetic with that shit. But the fucking say, you know, the, the, like apparently, because if you think, let me just say this. If you think this is going to get you laid, all you fucking men out there, even though you, you know, to automatically think McMahon is guilty, to think that this is going to get you laid. And like, see, I'm, oh, I'm disgusted of men. I'm disgusted of toxic masculinity. Women, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry that uh, these men make us look bad. Please. Accept my apology, and I will gladly like to have sex with you. You're not gonna get laid by these bitches, these fucking ugly, fucking rainbow-haired, fucking cunty motherfucking bitches who are literally fucking probably fat whales. Ain't gonna fucking have sex with you, even no matter how desperate you are to suit that low to have low standards. They ain't gonna fucking fuck with you. They ain't. You have to understand that this shit, like, these accusations happen for a reason. Because, again, you have to understand one of the main reasons why the allegations happen, like, guys like McMahon, is because, again, he has a lot to lose. He's a man that has a lot of fucking cha-chang. So I don't understand, like, why we gotta all of a sudden assume that he's guilty. There's a reason why this guy, uh, guy got a lot of accusations. But it's just a that darn shame that we have to say, like, believe all women. Did you not forget what happened with Brett Kavanaugh years ago? Nothing came out of that. And again, I clearly think that the reason why all this shit happened is really because, again, this is a way to get McMahon out of power. I do think someone under WWE, in the, inside WWE, it, uh, under fucking what this current regime shit, they wanted McMahon out so they can take over WWE. I do think that's part of the reason. They knew. They knew what was going on. Even though freaking it could have been a consensual shit, but because get it, he's a fucking man and shit like that. He was the head of the company. We gotta make it seem that it was bad. That's why. 
That's why they fucking did. Because God, God forbid, you know, a guy, like, oh, but even if, you know, he's a man, like, he, he shouldn't have done this in the public eye. Motherfucker, don't act like a person can't have a personal, like, what, we can't have a personal life? I'm not saying, like, what allegedly said, like, oh, he can't have sex. Motherfucker. You get you got you guys act like you don't have fucking weird fetish. I mean I don't have a weird fetish. I don't like that fuck I think it's fucking weird enough that people have foot fetishes, but obviously shit fetish is fucking weird and shit like that. And I also like doing a threesome with another guy is fucking weird and cuck. I will not I, I can't deny. Fucking McMahon sounds like a cuck with this shit. It's kinda weird. Kinda ruined my kinda like little respect for him. D definitely. But it doesn't mean it's wrong. You have to understand, like, shit like this, where fucking, where women are promiscuous, that they're gonna fucking, they, they don't mind having sex with other dudes at the same time. And I mean, yes, same time. If you fucking go to a nightclub, which I'm sure a lot of you people don't, probably, because you have no fucking lives, and probably that scared to even talk to a girl. I mean, I'm willing to help any of you guys if you want to know how to talk to women. Sure. I can even film myself doing cold approaches, but I don't have a cameraman. But seriously... Like, it's not too hard to talk to a woman. Obviously, it's good. they're not going to always be a success trying to talk to them. But it's not like this is fucking illegal. Like, uh, like women are promiscuous nowadays where they don't mind. I mean, set, uh, three, uh, like threesomes with th two guys. Like, you, know, you can literally see a woman, like, making out with a guy and fucking another guy sucking on her tits. That happens. I think that's cucky shit, but it happens. That's okay for them. You know what I mean? You'll even see fucking, and I understand this is a fake movie, whatever. You'll see Zendaya in a fucking movie trailer, trailer gang raided by two men. <laughs> Come on here. This shit happens. But like, seriously, but the reality. To say that this is Lesnar's fault, even though he's not the one to fucking ask for these tweet uh, texts. He only just called her bitch. Maybe he fucking was re revolted from this shit. We don't know. We don't know. We don't know what happened. How is it Lesnar's fault? And a play date. Like again, oh, but he's pimping the bitch. Maybe it's a consensual shit, motherfuckers. Maybe she want, <laughs> you got, you don't know whatever. But again, maybe at the same time, this is all lies. Maybe, maybe uh, fucking Lesnar didn't do it. And there, maybe there's a reason why. Oh, get a snowstorm. Obviously, what can say, like, why did this happen? Because again, yes, it does snow a lot in Saskatchewan, right? In Canada up, up there, right? But, at the same time, this could have not have happened. Or it was not going to ever happen with Lesnar. Because maybe he loves his fucking wife. He loves his kids. He doesn't want to be associated with this garbage. So maybe, like, you, this is all lies. So why the fuck we have to hate Lesnar? All the fucking Lesnar did is call the bitch, uh, call, the bi like, call, call the chick bitch. That's it. That's it. And he got a fucking, he literally, he only just got a fucking person fucking sending her or herself urinating which could again not be true but if it's true how is it his fucking fault obviously i will talk more about this in an in-depth video in the future but again to say brock lesnar is guilty where it costs plans for him to be at wrestlemania and people think he's guilty and a bad person y'all fucking retarded Y'all still, and again, the sad thing is people want this to be true because y'all have an Alfred McMahon and y'all have an Alfred Lesnar because you guys hate part timers. You guys hate men who look like men and can get bi and can pull bitches. That's why. That's fucking why. Or am I just supporting a predator? How is he a fucking predator when again this seems like, this was what as was said as a consensual relation with the well, when it says in the lawsuit she was a willing participant. Was she complaining with all the gifts that McMahon gave her? Was she complaining about how all, all the play dates was going on? And again, a lot of things could have been fabricated to make, to make McMahon sound like a creep and fucking uh, and a fucking pre and I get it, he's a rapey motherfucker. You never know; it all all this shit could have been fabricated. But even that, but again, she still went along with it. So and, and she consented from the fucking beginning. Now she regrets because get it, she didn't get paid. So why was it a problem before it reported? And like, don't give me this shit that you know is afraid. Obviously, who the fuck isn't afraid? But come on, at the time when Me Too was still a thing and a lot of accusations can happen, it was no different. That was around the time like all this shit, like when it was around the time when it was okay for women to speak out. 
if something legit happened. Obviously, I do. I'm not gonna say that like, all women are fucking gonna give false accusations. Guy, I, I could, but again, with shit like this, that fucking to take down men, even though fucking they didn't do anything, and it sounds consensual and shit like that. This is the problem. What I have a problem, especially with this whole Brett Kavanaugh shit that happened years ago. This is why I like you. This is why people like myself get angry with this shit. Where. Who? Do, what, what can we believe now? It ruins the fucking process of believing, of believing what's true and what's not. That's the fucking problem. It ruins the, the credibility of coming forward, which I'm I, I I'm sickened by. I'm sickened by it because I do want people to come forward, and those weird motherfuckers should be, who are fucking actual fucking creepy weirdo motherfuckers, but are rapists. There's a difference between a, having a weird fetish than being a legit rapist and committing a fucking crime against a woman. Okay? And they should be in prison. But because people have to say, yeah, he's guilty, he's guilty, no matter any accusation, McMahon's guilty because you guys are fucking weird fucks. And you guys have some weird hatred for McMahon and don't care for his livelihood. All because of a fuck y'all marks for a wrestling show for a stupid show instead of somebody's livelihood? I don't know what to tell you. It's not like the fucking wrestling show is getting better anyways. And yeah, let's cancel one guy who would make the show better. Oh, I don't like part-timers. Oh. Well, guess what? That part-timer is better than your garbage indie fox. So no, Lesnar is not guilty. He's fucking innocent of this shit. It's fucking disgusting that all you people are okay with this, get him getting canceled. He didn't do anything. And even if this was played, they would support. Like, again, they're all okay with it. Oh, but like you know, he was for she was forced to, she could have easily not done it, okay? And forgot oh, again, we don't know, we don't know. But to assume that he's already guilty is fucking sad. Obviously, accusations like this could affect the process and affect the idea, like whether you know Lesnar is telling the truth and this is okay. But just in the end of the day, it's fucking sad. It's a that darn shame. I gotta fucking go. But overall, this shit sucks. Fuck all you people that assume that everyone is guilty if they get accusa accusations. Especially guys like Lesnar and shit like that. But again, he didn't do anything wrong in th in terms of this shit. You can say what you want about McMahon, but in terms of what's going on with Lesnar, what happened with Lesnar, and, and what said in these court documents, in the fucking lawsuit, Lesnar just said bitch. Didn't do anything wrong. That's what I'm gonna say. I'm just keep real. Get your games closed. My niece is about to bitches go, oh shit, oh shit. With consent, obviously. Till next time. Peace. Yeah, bye. Man, y'all fucking weird fucks. Straight up.